Welcome to a new video in my home automation series and today I would like to show you how you can use the Sonoff 4CH Pro to control your sprinklers. The 4CH Pro, if you haven't seen my previous video where I did the review of this device, is a smart Wi-Fi switch which has four outputs, that's hence the 4CH. And it is called Pro, uh, probably for many reasons, but probably one of the reasons is because unlike most of the other Sonoff devices where the main power which is powering the whole device is getting switched to the four different channels or whatever number of channels the device has, in this particular version, uh, 4CH Pro as opposed to the 4CH, all the relay outputs are individually routed out. So you have uh, terminals for each of the relay output, which means you can feed in the power that you want to switch. So it doesn't have to be the mains power, it can be a lower power. And for sprinklers, or especially the sprinkler valves, you need 24 volts DC. So this device is ideal to control your sprinkler valves. Because it has four outputs, we can control a sprinkler system which has four different zones. Of course, if you buy multiple 4CH Pros, you can control multiple zones as well. So in my example, the four outputs that are, you're going to see here are going to be the four zones, so the four different sprinklers and I would be able to you know, switch these on and off uh, individually and I want to set up a scene where I will switch the first one on and it's going to run for some time until you need to water the first zone and it switches to the second and the third and the fourth and then finally it switches off. So I think in more sprinkler applications you would only have one of the channels open or one of the zones open and it changes to the next one, the next one and, and finally the last one. So that's what we want to set up. I can't actually wire this scenario up. So I'm going to leave a wiring diagram here and I can, I'm going to talk through how you get this uh, system wired up. 4CH Pro can be controlled from the mains power and it can be also controlled from DC power. So you can decide what uh, ways you want to power this. You can either use the live and the neutral terminals and then power it from mains if you have mains wherever you are placing this. But since we need 24 volts DC for the sprinkler wires, you can use the 24 DC as well. And you can see there is a better connector here and it says DC input 9 to 24 volts. So 24 volts is going to be enough. So first of all, you need to select the power. You either use the AC input or the battery jack. Next, we have the four outputs for the four zones. And we are going to, first of all, wire up the common, which is always the middle terminal for each of them. And we are going to connect that to the positive 24 volts uh, of the power supply, which is going to power the sprinkler wires. So each of the commons are connected to 24 volts. And then the NO connector, which is always the left terminal, that goes to each of the sprinkler valves. So the first one for zone 1, zone 2, zone 3, zone 4. And of course, the other terminal of the sprinkler valve gets connected to the uh, negative side or the ground side of the power supply. And that should be it. And now we are ready to set up the device and the scenes in the EVLink application. And in the basic setup, if you turn on any of the channels, uh, on the son of 4CH. You can you know, turn on any number of channels that you want. But we want each individual zone to turn off separately. And for that I'm going to use the interlock function. And I, as I mentioned in my 4CH Pro video, I can't really think about any other use case for the four channel interlock than a four channel or four zone sprinkler system. So I've enabled the interlock now. And if I operate the outputs, I can still you know, switch on or switch off any of the channels, but if I turn on any of the other channels, then the first channel turns off. And that's what we want. This is how we are going to cycle through the four channels, and at the end we will switch off channel four. Okay, so we are going to set up a scene. So I go into the scenes, I click on plus, and we need to define the trigger. And I think I'm going to leave the trigger on manual at the moment. So you will need to click it in order to you know get it started. So the first section is going to be to turn on channel 1 on the 4CH Pro. So smart device, 4CH Pro, turn on channel 1. Okay, so that's the first step. Next, we need a delay. And here you would set up the time you want to water your first zone. And just to make this video quick, I'm going to set a relatively long time. So I'm just going to say 10 seconds. 
Okay, so once the 10 seconds has elapsed, then we can go over to the next zone. So again, smart device, 4CH Pro, and I'm going to turn on the second channel. And because of the interlock mode, the device itself will take care of uh, switching off the first channel. So save, and we are going to set how long this zone is going to be watered. So I'm just going to set nine seconds. So we can see some difference. So the next step is again, smart device, 4CH Pro, channel three on, save. And again, we are going to set the delay. It's, oops, not that long. So it's going to be eight seconds. And then the last zone, smart device, 4CH Pro, channel four on, save, save. And also we need to delay how long the channel four is going to be on. So that's going to be seven seconds. And then finally we get to the end when we are going to turn off the last channel. And of course all the other channels are going to be off by that time. So that's it. That's our scene. So I'll just click save. I'm going to pick a different icon. Let's say this one and uh, uh, quick watering. Quick because I've, I've set some you know, really short times. So I save and you can see the manual scenes up here. But if you go to your home, then you can see the manual scene up here as well. And if I click on it, then it starts. So it's going to be 10 seconds for the first zone and it will automatically move to the next zones. It might not be exactly 10 seconds. I've noticed that because it's all you know uh, coming from the cloud, sometimes there is a couple of seconds of delay. But in a sprinkler operation where, you know, one of your zones are going to run for, I don't know, 15 minutes or, you know, 10 minutes, a couple of seconds is not really going to make a difference. And let me trigger it again because I was uh, talking too slowly. And so what you can see that the system automatically cycles through each of the zones. All the zones are going to be watered for the amount of time that you have specified in the scene. I've also tried doing this by not setting the device on interlock and then in each of the scenes you are switching off the older you know the previous channel but for some reason it didn't really work perfectly i was always left with some time when all of the channels were off and i think that wouldn't be a good situation for a pump when it's you know let's assume that if your sprinklers are uh, run off from a I don't know, like a valve pump. So that pump would be pumping against a line which doesn't have any output. So it would just, you know, fight against pressure. So I think the interlock and that scene probably makes a little bit more sense. And with this setup, I assume that you have a system where you are running your sprinklers from a city water. So only thing you need is just to open up the sprinkler valves. There is a constant pressure on your line, or maybe you have a valve pump which has an automatic pressure switch. If your setup is different, then let's say you need to switch on a pump separately before you start the watering and then of course turn it off. Maybe we can just use another Sonoff device for that. I have this Sonoff Basic. So let's modify the scene and add the Sonoff Basic, assuming that this controls the pump, which is you know pumping the water into the sprinkler lines. So I go back to the scenes and I click on the three dots on the quick watering because that gets me into settings. So what I would need to do here now is when I switch, switch on the 4CH Pro on the channel one, I also want to turn on the basics so the pump gets running. And then once I turn off the last zone or maybe before I turn off the last zone, I also turn off the pump just to make sure it's not running and it's not trying to pump water against the closed line. And I do have a plus button where I can add new stuff, but it goes at the end of the list and there is no way to change the order of this. So unfortunately, the only way I can modify this is I need to delete all my steps and I have to create them again. So bear with me for a moment and let me just do it offline. I finished redoing the scene and as you can see, first step is that we turn channel one on and then we turn the, uh, the son of basic on. So that starts the pump and then we start the regular cycle, run this for 10 seconds, nine seconds, eight seconds, seven seconds, if I remember correctly. And then we shut off the pump and then finally we turn off the last uh, zone as well. So let me save my changes. I'm going to make changes to that and let me start the process. As you can see, first zone is on. A slightly bit later, the pump has turned on as well. 
and now we just need to wait until the end of the cycle until the basic also turns off and our pump stops now we are getting the end of the cycle and hopefully the system is going to behave as we expected and it does so that would be the setup when you also need to use a separate son of device to turn the pump on so now we have created our scene we have incorporated the son of basics so it turns on the pump whether you need that additional functionality or not and now we can start the watering anytime we want we just you know either click on the quick watering here on the home screen or we touch the quick watering button here on the scenes and as I mentioned before, nothing is really stopping you to create another scene besides this quick watering, which has slightly different times. Or maybe there is a part of your garden where uh, it needs more water. So you have one scene which is, uh, you know, using all four zones and that runs, you know, three times a day. And then you create yet another uh, scene, which let's say only runs zone three and four, and that runs two more times uh, a week sorry not a day a week but now what we need to do is we need to just uh, really automate this so it, it executes automatically and for this I'm going to create a new scene so I'm clicking on the plus button and say that the trigger needs to be a time of the day and I usually set my watering cycles really early in the morning when it's still cold relatively cold in the uh, in the summer so let's say 5 a.m. And here I can also specify which days it should run. You know, maybe you don't need to water every day, so maybe you just want to do it three times a week. So you do it on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and maybe you can have another scene which runs on, you know, Tuesdays and Saturdays or something like that. So you save that, so that's going to be the trigger. So basically three times a week or at 5 a.m. And on the action side, we have this new option here which says Smart Scene, and then Perform Manual Scenes, and then Quick Watering and and you save and you save this one as well watering three times a week and save and it's done so now you have a scene which is going to execute three times a week but you also have the manual scene so if you want to water your garden outside this period you can just click here just like we have done before and then the watering will start. I think this is the, probably the best balance between having some automation and also having the option to start it whenever you want, you know, quite easily. And of course, you can still go to the actual device, you know, for CH Pro. And if you just want to manually water one of your zones, you can still operate the outputs from here. So you still have the full manual control and also you have the automation options as well. And if your summer weather varies quite a lot throughout the, you know, the summer month, you can always come here and then change the options here. So for example, now this is a really, you know, dry period of the summer. So I want to, you know, water it every single day, or maybe you get some really, you know, rainy weeks. You can just turn the automation off completely. You still have the manual option, but the, you know, the regular watering would be turned off. Of course, you have to do it manually, but probably you have to touch this you know, a couple of times during the summer. And that concludes my recommendation how you can use the 4CH Pro to automate sprinklers in your garden. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.